I'm Commander Exegius, and today we'll be looking at building the Ultimate Asp Explorer for short-range exploration and specifically material gathering. The Asp X is especially well-suited at this, given its excellent jump range, maneuverability, speed, and optional internal space. Let's look at the modules and engineering to choose to build the most effective Asp Explorer possible. Starting with our core internals, we'll want lightweight alloys, which we can add heavy-duty deep plate engineering to, as this will give us a nice hull boost without any additional weight. For our power plant, we have a couple of good options. We can go with a simple unengineered 4A or a Guardian 3A to save some weight. You'll want to use A-rated here for the additional thermal efficiency over the slightly lighter weighted D-Class. For our thrusters, I'll choose A-rated with dirty drag drives to make moving around in normal space rather enjoyable as this will give us a boost speed above 560 meters a second. For our frame shift drive, we'll definitely want increased range mass manager. For life support, we'll want to go D-rated lightweight. For our distributor, you could go with a lightweight 1D or the extra capacity and recharge rate of a full 4A. Either way, you'll want to use engine focused with either super conduits or cluster. My preference is the latter. I also prefer the 4A so I can boost as often as I want in normal space, increasing the flight experience. D-rated lightweight sensors complete our core. For our optional internals, we'll start with either a class 6 cargo rack or a fuel scoop. As I use this build to go gather engineering materials, I prefer the large 64-ton rack so I can bring a great number of limpets. A class 5 Guardian FSD booster adds an additional 10.5 light years of jump range with a Class 3 fuel scoop filling out our tanks. This is a bit slow depending on your usage, so if you're going on longer trips, you'd want to swap this into the Class 6 slot. A 3B collector limpet gives us two active limpets with the longest range possible with lightweight engineering lowering the mass. A 3D shield with enhanced low power and stripped down adds some protection while removing additional weight. Finally, a Class 2 SRV bay lets us gather materials on planets with an advanced discovery scanner rounding out the internals. You could also swap the SRV for a fast scan detailed surface scanner if you're doing road to riches scanning. For our utility mounts, we'll want a single lightweight heatsink, perhaps two, with a single lightweight chaff launcher, just in case someone has a go at us. For wake scanning, I prefer a long range A rated scanner as this eases moving about in an instance such as a distribution center. You can likely leave the weapons at home. If you do choose to bring something, you'd likely want lightweight to keep the mass down as this is hardly a combat ship. Depending on how you use this build, there are several changes you might want to make. You'll also likely need to deal with some power issues given the small and light power plant. I've included the proper power priorities in the build link below. As wake scanners use a huge amount of energy, you'll likely just power this down until it's needed. Given the excellent jump range, supercruise maneuverability, and speed in normal space, this is a fantastic ship to use for material gathering and short-range sightseeing. It can easily be adapted for long-range exploration with the addition of an autofield maintenance unit and, of course, the largest fuel scoop possible. This build offers a maximum jump range of 65 light years with a boost speed over 560. With its wonderful canopy, it's a joy to fly. Once again, this has been Commander Exegius reminding you to fly dangerously, and thanks for watching. If you are working to gather materials, I have several videos that will dramatically lessen your grind, and I hope you'll join me on my weekly live streams, Tutorial Tuesdays, and the Creators Roundtable each Friday, and that you'll consider supporting my efforts via Patreon.